welcome back to my channel. This is Glitzy Gem. How's everybody doing? Y'all like this look? Tell me y'all like this look. It's really, it's a natural baby doll look that I created with my little baby doll bow. Look at that. I hope you like it. And, um, so here's the palette that I used. The Deuce, the Deuce or Deuce by Juvia's, and these are the shades. We're gonna go ahead and swatch them. Okay, so this shade here is called Chocolate. This one's called Tart. This one's called Creme. This one's called. Puffs. Okay, I'm gonna swatch these four here right now. Chocolate. Puffs. Creme. And. Sorry. This is a chocolate tart creme, and this is puffs. Look at that shimmer. Wow. Love the formula of these Juvia's Places um, eyeshadow palettes, a leather formula. Now going on with the next shades are going to be... Macaroon. Custard, Berry Mousse, Mont Blanc, and Crepes. So here is Macaroon. Look at the nice green shade. Love that. Custard. Ooh. This is Berry Mousse. It's really light. It's a really light, fair skin. It's a, it's a flesh tone. This is Mont Blanc. And the last shade is called Crepes. There you have all nine shades. Swashed on my arm. So I hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you right through it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. For those who are new to my channel, thank you. Please subscribe. It's the only polite thing to do and it's the only thing that you can do for me to help me out. You know, it's uh, I'm giving you tutorial free sessions. You know, it's free. It doesn't cost you a thing. And just a free session on how to do this tutorial that y'all just seen in my intro. So, yeah. Um, and for those who are not new to my channel, thank you. And... Thank you for continuing my journey on YouTube and see how far see how far it'll take me and just pass the word along and let them know of my channel and yeah, I'd like to start having more subscribers. I'm trying to build my subscriber base. So um, without further ado, let's just get started with this video. So we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, guest request. The last time I had a guest, she wanted me to do a rave look, which I did a rave inspired look, which I did in one of my videos. I'm pretty sure you can see it on my playlist. And she, before she left, I had asked her, is there any other, anything else, any other look that you would like for me to create for you? And um, before you go, and I can just, you know, <clears throat> upload the video with that request. 
And she did. She mentioned that she wanted me to do the the Duce or Dos by Juvia's place. I think I'm butchering the name there. I think I'm butchering the name there. I think it's Deuce. I know Deuce is spelled with D E U, but this is D, D O U, so I don't know if it's Dos. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. I'm not even gonna try. And the packaging's real pretty, um, holographic, really nice quality. So let's open up the palette here. It comes with that plastic film protector, and it has a really nice picture of the graphic art that they've done on the on this palette. And these are the shades that come with them. Um, these actually have names on them, actually, too. Yeah, it's quite, that's good. They have shade names. So we're going to go ahead and try to do a doll-inspired look. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes on camera because I usually always prime them off. And today's primer we're going to use, because I'm going to do like a, it's going to be like a natural look. And today's primer I'm going to use is the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm going to do a natural look. So it's not going to be anything to wear, anything vibrant. I'm not going to use too many of the colors from the palette. This is just going to be, like I said, it's going to be a doll-inspired um, doll look. You're probably wondering, why are you wearing a headband, right? Maybe you're wondering, maybe you're not. Maybe it's just something y'all just figure out. That's Glitzy Jen. She does things like that. But no, really, I'm wearing a band because I noticed that on my last video that my forehead is actually pretty high. I have a big forehead. And no, I'm not. I'm not just now realizing that. It's just that now I'm realizing that my hair is thinning out more, and I'm starting to get baby hairs. Baby hairs are starting to grow out, and um, a lot of people love to have baby hairs. Would love to have baby hairs, and um, me, I'm the type of people that I would like to have a full head of hair, volumized hair, and not something that's thinning out. And then new hair growth is coming into coming in coming in place now but um this is the reason why i have my band the band on because uh yeah my forehead is a little too high so i do not want to show my forehead on camera right now while i'm putting on my makeup so that's the reason why i have it on okay so like like you saw, I didn't put any primer underneath my eye. The reason is because, like I said, it's going to be a natural look. You know what? I am going to put primer underneath my eye. Because I am going to put color underneath my lash line to do this doll, doll inspired look. And it's still hot out, so I said today's a lovely day because it kind of rained. It showered a little. I know we're in September already, and it should have. Sh I should. We should all start getting ready for the autumn, fall colors. But um, I think we can still do pull off some summer, summertime looks right now because it's still hot out. I just did a video on fashion day. It's a fashion day video. If you are interested in watching that, you can see it up on screen as your as my playlist pops up on the screen. If it doesn't, just get on my YouTube channel and look up my playlist for fashion day. So we finished priming our eyes. Now we're gonna get started with this tutorial. And I'm gonna use my 
Cosmopolitan brushes. I love these brushes. So far, they've been working for me. They've been performing real well for me. So I'm going to continue using them. I just love the eyeshadow brush. It has an eyeshadow brush, a blending brush, pencil brush, a flat, eye, not eyeliner, but a flat, small angled brush, and then a flat smudge brush. I don't hardly ever use a smudge brush because I don't really smudge any eyeliner underneath my, my lower lash line, but it's good to smudge eyeliner underneath the lower lash line. So we're going to go ahead and... We're gonna go ahead and use the eyeshadow brush today. Uh, might use the blending brush, but for right now, I think I'm feeling the eyeshadow brush more than the blending brush for this look. So, so we're gonna go ahead and we want to. I want to go ahead and use this shade here first. Yes, this shade is called custard custard for like this shade doesn't seem quite um the norm right custard custard you would think like it would be like a creamy color but it's actually like creamy meringue not meringue but like creamy color you know but it's called custard so um i'm just gonna put that on my lid i'm starting on my lid and just right here, just halfway. I don't want to go all the way out with it. If I do, I'm just going to blend it out. Because I do want to. And I'm still using the same product. Putting it over to the other eye. If I do, I just want a very light. Very lightly. Spread of this color. I said, I'm trying to do a natural look, not vibrant, just natural look. So I'm just spreading it out and just making this lighter and lighter by blending it out with this eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna get closer so you can see what so you can see more detail, more detailing on this. So here we go. I think it's getting clear now. Good. There you see. There you have it. I just kind of just spread the color out. Okay. Now we're going to start diffusing this color by adding lighter and lighter shades. So the next shade I want to go ahead and go in with is um, this shade called Berry Mousse. We're just going to diffuse starting from the center out. goes see so it's I'm getting it in the corner I mean I'm getting it in the crease and just blending it out to the outer corner while also having that hint of custard there so I'm getting very mousse doing it doing the same thing on this side starting from the center and into the crease and just blend it out
Just keep doing that <clears throat> till you diffuse this pink shade. First, let's lick it up close. You can actually see that the pink is starting to get, is starting to diffuse. Okay, now we're going to go with the next shade. The next shade we're going to use is called Puffs. Oh, now I get it. It's not Deuce. It's Dulce, dulce, like dulce in Spanish means candy. And these have pastry inspired names and um, how lovely. So we're gonna go with puffs here. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and start using this in the center as well. Up to the crease and into the corner, inner corner. I'm just spreading that color out. You can get some on top of the custard shade because it's a shimmery, it's a shimmer shade and it'll complement that, that custard shade. On the lid as you can see now if you move close see that shimmer just go ahead and start from here out love that shimmer <coughs> Okay. Okay, once we've got that shade on there, we're going to go ahead and do tart, the shade tart up here. The shade, the shade tart. And we're going to go ahead and just do above the lash line, above the crease the lash line, the crease, and in the brow, eyebrow area, inner corner. You want that highlight. You want to start highlighting. <clears throat> Get some more tart. This has like a shimmer uh, with some pink, pink specks in them. And this is like a pink shimmer with white specks in them. And we're going to put this all in the crease. I mean, not in the crease, sorry. Above the eyebrow bone. Just giving it that highlight, the nice highlight. Now you're getting this natural shimmery effect on the eye. So now we're going to go ahead and do the bottom waterline. Well, the bottom lash line, actually. Let me just get some of this fallout off. Or I think that's just shimmer that stayed. using my fan glam my glam fan so now we're gonna go ahead and use the <clears throat> I want to say maybe we should use my pencil brush to do the bottom lash line my pencil brush we're gonna go in with the shade called 
macaroons. A nice pretty shade here. All down the bottom. I've been breathing so heavily lately. I don't know what's going on. You have noticed I've been breathing very heavily. I'm not sure what it is. There's moments where I feel like the air just wants to get sucked out of me, like, like, like come back, come back, air. So I don't know. If I'm just not feeling well today, what's going on with my body, what's going on, I'm not sure. But it, it is scary because, <clears throat> I don't know, it almost affects my breathing. So I'm trying to get up close, trying to get the camera to focus and on this. focus and so there you have this nice smoked out green lash there a green shadow there into the lash line which is neat but let's go with one more shade I think maybe it'll it'll just kind of accent the sludge maybe we're gonna go ahead and use my angled brush or should we use my smudge brush no we'll use my angled brush here my angles, my old brush. And we're going to go ahead and go in with this shade called Mont Blanc. So it's like a glitter type of shade. Put that right under the lash line. So there you have it, and I think that's the finishing eyeshadow look. Okay, so I'm gonna come off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the look, okay? So stay tuned. So here you go, guys. Here, here is my baby doll inspired look. See my little baby doll bow, my hair. Here's the finishing look. So it's like I said, it's a natural look. It's supposed to look, make you look like, supposed to look like a baby doll. So for my lip, I went in with my Avon Tester. It's a by Mark Glow Baby Glow Lip Gloss. Mm -hmm. It's in the shade Girly Girly. Okay, and for my top lash line, I went ahead and with my Avon Mark on the edge liquid eyeliner. 
Okay, in the shade Medusa. And it's I just did a really thin line above the lash line. And for my mascara, I went in with my great my great lash Maybelline Black is Black mascara. And for my bottom waterline, I went in with my Nobby gel eyeliner pencil in the shade Champagne. So, yeah, and I got me some little girly earrings on, little um, flowers, little flower studs on. And I just love this bow. I can't get it reminds me of those bows you would put on those um, Shih Tzus. <laughs> reminds me of that bow. But it's supposed to give me that Shih Tzu look, I guess. <laughs> you know how the Shih Tzus, how they have their hair is so long. And then they put this bow on them. Well, it's kind of like that. But no, I am not a dog. <laughs> I'm just creating this natural baby doll look for my guest request so i hope you guys enjoyed my video you can see all my little baby hairs just all over the place so i hope you all enjoyed my video if you did please give me a thumbs up be nice um don't give me a thumbs down just you don't have to give me any kind of thumbs up or down if you really did it if you, if you didn't like my video don't give me a thumbs down just just be nice Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and then you'll receive more uploads of my next video. Okay? Well, love you, gems. Bye!